Hi there, Jen Bedard with McGar Realty here, and I am joined by Bob Kish with Niagara Peninsula Home Inspections. Bob, when I walk into a house with clients, they often see cracks, they see sloped floors, and they their heads, their brains turn to the worst case scenario. What are some things that you would say are look scary but really aren't scary and people should just kind of turn to the home inspector for the actual answer before making any drawing any conclusions well first of all i'd uh, recommend them uh, ask me any questions if you have any concern tell me mm -hmm. and uh, we'll discuss it but sloping floors now if you go into a house that's 100 years old you're going to find a floor that's sloped mm -hmm. uh, basement foundation cracks they're going to be in every single house. It just depends how big they are, how they moved. There's so many different uh, aspects of it. So you got to know how to look at them, how to inspect them, if it's continuing, if it's an issue, or if it's just normal uh, things. But definitely uh, cracks and walls. Again, it's a house made out of wood, expansion, contraction. There are going to be some issues. So. Uh, don't be afraid to ask your home inspector and uh, clarify things. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to find something. Every house has every house. something. And there's going to be minor issues and there's going to be major issues. Not every house has major issues. Every house has minor issues yes. though. So that's why an, an inspection is so important. What would you say some of the more major issues would be? Uh, some of the major issues is uh, you know, uh, knob and tube wiring, which is the old 1920s or earlier wiring, uh, asbestos, uh, mold, uh, structural issues where somebody's gone in and did some renovations and removed some structural components, which uh, compromises the house. Um, there, there's a little bit of a aspect in every single, like plumbing, uh, electrical, structural, that, that you get find issues with. Okay, okay. And there's no such thing as a pass or a fail with a home inspection? No, I do not pass or fail an inspection. I don't give it a seven out of 10 or an eight out of 10. I'm handy, so my eight could be your three. Yeah, or right, whatever. exactly. So, uh, what an inspection is, I go through the house, we discuss things. I tell you the condition of the house at the time of inspection, and I educate you on the condition of the house. That way you're more educated, you got more knowledge on the house, so you can make an educated decision to purchase or not purchase. 